Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to XCOM, where we are on episode 109. Still quite a bit to do, and preferably fast, because the Avatar project is proceeding at a merciless pace, and I need to catch up. Blind Commando is investigating the forge, uh, and it's not looking good. It's still swarming in a half, so it's still really not something I want to try, but it's another 10 days until I'm infiltrated to 100%, let alone 200%. So I'm foreseeing a hell of a fight there, but probably not this episode, because this episode I'm focusing on a troop column. What I have over here is um, Master Sergeant Hurst, Roadhouse, Rendrian, Gomez, Kowalski, Dahl, Tosaka, and Cam. I'm going to help these guys out as much as possible by boosting, and I'm now facing a very light enemy in tr uh, invasion, a troop column. Let's go take him out. Operating procedure, same as previous. Scout out with sniper, or sorry, <laughs> right. <laughs> Scout out with a concealed operative. Push out with a security cordon and let the sniper do most of the work, especially early on, so that we can take down a couple of them. And later on, if they get too close, the security cordon, so that's the other troops, will be able to take care of them. That's the plan. Alright, what do we have? Do we have any high ground nearby? Because that would really help. Uh, no. Oh yeah, we got this building. We are not in a corner. Pretty open area. This is... Yeah, sorry, this is the corner. Right here. This is the corner. Okay. Roadhouse, first move. Oh crap, we got our first patrol. There's only 11 targets on the map. So it shouldn't be too much work. But who knows, if there's one sectopod in there, it could be more of a fight than I would ideally want. Now I can already open up on these guys in this turn. Provided that I have enough troops to actually get overwatch shots in. And at this range... My accuracy is not great, so let's not open up just yet. Let's see, dust. Uh, shade. You're also an active shooter. Confirmed. Rin, over here. That's affirmative. Dust. 12 to 16. That's a hell of a melee attack. Amir. Maybe I need to put you in low cover because you got low profile and a mirror in high cover. Like that. Commander. Angel, you're the spotter, but you're also one who's untouchable and has Bladestorm. Cobalt. This is a perfect spot for you. Shooting and then promptly overwatching is what you do best. And then... Um, yeah, what you hear... When you're studying your weapon. And I want Angel to hold back for a bit. It is very tempting to use her and her Reaper ability. But for now, I don't want it. Not yet. Copy that. Explorando. Oh, here's the next group? That's eight of the enemy team. Already here. Leaving three unaccounted for. Oh, if only I had a technical. A technical, a grenadier, a spark. Anyone who could do massive amounts of damage against groups. But unfortunately, I did not bring any. Alright, you can still hit the other guys as well, right? Yeah, I don't want that. You can hit that one. No, I don't want that. I would rather fall back a little bit than get the wrath of all the groups here. 
Because I can put out a lot of damage, but not that much. Headed there now. Now I can only see these three. Moving to Overwatch. Cobalt, I'm more reliant on your Overwatch shots than anything else. But I could ambush one. No, just go for standard Overwatch. Kowalski, you can hit something behind cover if you need to. Oh, right. Kowalski had advanced teleport. This is courtesy of one of the, I think, legendary weapons that I picked up. And I can beam across the map. Carrying a scatter gun. So he just doesn't have only soul fire available, which is uh, pretty dangerous as is. But he can also zip around the map twice, that is. I only have two actions. And blast somebody with a shotgun. Which is an excellent, excellent ability to have. Moving to Overwatch. Alright. Uh, Overwatch, Roadhouse. Overwatch. Who's the biggest and baddest guy on the block? Gunner. Heavy Grenadier. I think Heavy Grenadier might take priority over everything else. Uh, yeah, that should kill him. Here we go. Down. 21 damage. It's worth it, right? Let's see how the others are going to respond. Overwatch. Whoa. The game is snapping from one action to another. Got another one killed. Oh, the gunner was also killed. Oh, nice. So we actually got... Yeah, we got three killed. One survivor. Uh, and if this hits, that might not even be true. There you go. That was a whole first group gone. Nice work. Excellent opening. Couldn't have gone better. Angel. Now it's your time to start spotting. Nothing yet. That's fine. Just reload. Steady. And get ready for the next round. Uh, I want you to hold. Cobalt to hold. Shade hold. Toe socks. Dust. And roadhouse. Yep, they might have heard something. Alright, same operating procedure. I want... Uh, you a little bit further forward. No problem, boss. I hope this doesn't trigger the squad. Shit, it did. Moved him too close. They do have walk fire. This very low amount of damage. Alright, who do I need to take down first? Sentinel. Elite gunner. Heavy grenadier. And a first sergeant. This one got to go. This guy right here. Heavy grenadier. Is he gone? Yeah, you got him. You did a good job today, Doug. Steady. Decker. Um, it's not really anything that I can immediately wipe out. Cobalt, you can light this one up and then go on Overwatch. Let's do that. Miss. I could... Oh, no, that's mind merge. That's for one guy. There is another ability um, that immediately puts shields around everybody. But I don't have that one. Not on this uh, Psy operative, anyway. Shade. 37% chance to stun. That's pretty bad. Toe socks over here. 
9% chance to hit, 14% chance to stun, that's bad. Free shot, 37%. I'm going to prepare a flanking move instead. Roger that. And I could get a free shot. No, I don't have a shot anymore. Okay, overwatch then. And for you. Soul fire against the sentinels. Sentinels are, as far as I'm concerned, the most dangerous one. Because they have that constant overwatch fire. Roadhouse. Walk fire for 56. It's only 3 damage. Nah, never mind. Just overwatch him. These guys are not in the best position, so let's see if I can get some hits in. Yep, that was one good one. Cobalt finishes him off. That's the gunner dead. Good shooting. And we still have a couple of overwatches left. Missed. What's the Sentinel going to do? They're genuinely not very maneuverable. But this guy moves? Weird choice. Two overwatches miss him. And he overwatches again. Which is going to be to his credit, or to his uh, misfortune rather. Because I can very easily push him out of cover. No! No, no, no. Not like that, though. That was a 75% chance. I thought he would easily hit that. Alright, in that case, insanity. I need to get rid of the overwatch. Oh, shit. You can counter that? Oh. A little bit of damage there. Anything? Disoriented. Well... That was underwhelming. Alright, Roadhouse, time to Go flank. For the kill. On it. Not a kill. Weak hit. He's down to two. Weapons empty, can't engage. Uh, Cobalt can probably get a free kill here. There you go. That's one down. And now there's one more. The big question being, how do I take that one down? If at all. Twenty-three or twenty-eight. Roger that. Zero. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is your aim so bad? Sixty-four. What's your aim like? Seventy-nine plus fifteen. Yeah, that makes a hell of a difference. Okay. Well, at least she has a hair trigger, so Overwatch might accidentally hit. You also got a hair trigger. Oh, we got a duelist stock. But that only works against people who are on Overwatch, right? Yes. This guy isn't on Overwatch. Overwatch. But I am. I could rush him for six to, or sorry, for ten to fourteen. Not terribly impressed. Free pistol shot, 33%. No. Halo bullets. Whoa! Didn't expect that to blow half the house away. But I'll take it. How far can you teleport? Pretty damn far. I could move right up to him, but I don't really have any actions left, so this is going to end my turn. Okay, in that case, just hold. Hunker down. Angel... There are still three targets that I haven't seen. There we are. Three mutons. Including an elite. 
Good to be spotting these gentlemen right now instead of when they come in uninvited. Speaking of. Hmm. Not a fan. Roadhouse is quite close to that group. Can you just get this guy? 8 to 12. Probably not. Or at least not like that. But like this? Probably yes. Gotcha. Alright, Dust, maintain your flanker roll. Uh, let's pull some of the guys back. Ready to rock. Reload an Overwatch. It's a pretty open area. Which makes firefights a little bit harder. But I'll see what I can do. Angel, I need you to scout him out first and then just run all the way back. Pick up the loot. Alright. Can I take out one? Yep. Just go for the muton. Down. And he dropped some. These guys are not amused. Then again, they don't need to be. Graced one. Steady weapon. Oh shit, now Angel's detected. If she moves. Uh, in which case, I'm just going to have to move Shade over here. I do want this loot. Mm, pretty good. Now, I could put Angel next to a Muton over here, but it is exceptionally risky. Because you never quite know what these assholes are going to do. So I might just move all the way over here and flank them later. I suspect they know what we're up to. How far can you teleport? You can teleport all over the map? What? Whoa! I need to get me some more of those teleporters. That is fantastic. Hold your position. Counterfire. Hit. Hit. For 12 damage. That's going to cut into your accuracy quite a bit. He's down to one hit point. What's the elite going to do? Personal shields? It's another five, I think. Yep. Six, even. Oh, shit. Grazed him. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Alright. Uh, oh, shit. You need to reload. It's a pretty piss-poor time to be reloading. In that case, let's hollow target the elite. Make him easier to hit. Because those guys are usually very, very slippery bastards. So I would need to do 33 points of damage with pretty much one turn of attacks. Not impossible, but not easy. See if we can wipe out this Muton. Thank you, Angel. Well done. To think we can tilt the balance of power with a single shot. I can't shot. believe it remained undetected for so long. Decker. It's not high cover. But the more damage I can do to this guy, the less I might even need that. Eight damage directly bypassing his shield. 
Oh, sorry, five uh, blade of points of shield, not six. Is your running gun ready by any chance? No, it is not. Alright, in that case, we're gonna have to get close. 68% only? Defense, tactical sense, tactical upgrades. Yeah, that's not helping. Look at that! Perfectly lined up shot and he misses it. Ah, uh, well. Rory, you got bounding fire, right? Yep. Can I just stun him? Shut him down for a turn? Yes. Okay. Stuff just got easier. He's stunned for three turns. So I can take the guy apart at my leisure. Miss. Come on, focus. My ammo's running low. I might need to focus fire on this guy. Because these aim bonuses look like they're going to be very much required. He's down to four. One more shot should do it. Or rather, as I prefer. Just a melee attack. Because as far as I'm concerned, mutons deserve melee attacks. Alright, excellent performance. Unfortunately, two slight injuries. I do have a medic on this mission as a commander. It's a pretty high-ranking medic. So hopefully that uh, field surgeon is going to kick in. And they actually won't have taken any damage at all. Or at least the game should be treating it like that. Let's see. Welcome back. One promotion, one guy out for six, one out for three. And that is, unfortunately, the commander. Uh, Mystic, over here, Decker, was training up for another size kill. But we'll have to just step aside for the moment. Alright, Master Sergeant. Rapid fire, fire twice. Each shot carries an aim penalty of 15. So I would be able to do uh, 75 aim on two shots. Considering her average of 10 to 14 damage, if she hits both, considering it's plasma, the first one's going to do 10 minimum, if it hits, and the second one's going to do 11 minimum, so that's 21 damage per turn. There's no cooldown on this ability. Alternatively, rapid reaction fire. When in Overwatch, each shot you hit grants an additional reaction fire shot. Up to a maximum of 3 shots. I'm going to go with this. If there is a group that's pushing up, Cobalt is usually the one that I turn to to take them all down. Alright, a couple of supplies, some alloy, some uh, Illyrium. Yeah, not too bad. And more importantly, I got another Mutant Elite Corpse, which grant me another couple of very useful upgrades. They are pretty rare, those Mutant Elites. Uh, what did they give me? I think they gave me the Microblaster package. Which I still have wanted to build, but never actually got enough resources for them. Uh, where is it? Here's the Blaster Gauntlet. That's all the blades. It's not unaffordable, so it should be in here somewhere. On my long list of mods. Microblaster package. There we are. One mutant elite corpse, 75 supplies, 5 alloys, 10 Illyrium crystals, and 1 core. I wonder how much damage that does more relative to the standard one. Blazing guns. 
Normal micro missile package is 3 to 4 damage, 2 clip size, 10 range. As compared to the micro blaster, 4 to 8, 2 18 range, 4 radius. So the radius, the range, and the mobility buff or debuff stay the same. But the damage has a far, far greater range. This is 3 to 4. This is 4 to 8. And I get quite a few of these. Clip size 2. So I get two standards and two, bone, uh, two better ones. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, with that I'm going to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the content, then you could do me a really big favor by supporting the channel. Either by hitting that join button next to the subscribe button, or by becoming a Patreon supporter, link down below in the description. Or by um, subscribing on Twitch, which is of course over at the other channel. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you soon on the next episode.